8-Bit Dylan. Time for the intro to my videos. Just make weird noises with your mouth. Previously on Big Brother. The second week of the game was underway and Zombie Unicorn alongside the villains continued to control the house. Sky does Minecraft and Mousy Mouse were nominated for eviction and needed to win the veto in order to keep themselves safe for the game. In a surprising twist, Sky Williams won the power of veto and used it to save his fellow Sky player, Sky does Minecraft. Zombie then had to nominate Life Simmer as a replacement nomination, and with a tie vote of 3 to 3, Zombie Unicorn was the tiebreaker and decided to send Mousy Mouse packing. Who will win the HOH today? Find out now on Big Brother! everyone and welcome to another episode of YouTuber Big Brother Heroes vs. Villains. Today's episode, we're going down to the holidays as people give gifts to each other and see who can get the most gifts for the holidays. But before we get into this HOH, we're going to find out what the brand new clicks are. So for the brand new blue click, we have Rice Gum, Casey Tron, Dan the Diamond Minecart, Sky Does Minecraft, Sky Williams, and Lauren Z side. And for the brand new red click side, we've got Keemstar, Zombie Unicorn, Nick Dominates, Dodger, Life Simmer, and Kaleido. So these are your brand new clicks and they're gonna be competing in our very next HOH challenge. Now, our outgoing HOH Zombie Unicorn will still compete in this HOH, but she cannot win the HOH herself. Here is how this challenge is going to work. One by one, they're gonna come up to the table and grab one of the holiday crackers. Inside of the holiday crackers, they'll earn a toy. And then that toy will be added to the table. If a duplicate toy is ever grabbed from one of the crackers, it does not get added to the table. Whichever click ends up earning the most toys after two rounds will be the winning side for this house. And the HOH themselves will be determined based off of whichever person from each team is able to get the most toys for their side. So if there's ever a tie, it'll be through random draw. Hopefully that makes sense as we do this. All right, let's get started. It's time to grab some gifts. Here comes Kaleido. All right, let's take a look and see what gift Kaleido has won. And, oh, an electronic upgrade part. That is not what we're looking for. We are looking for Meduso toys. So I'm so sorry, Kaleido, you have not earned your team a point. Next up is Lauren's East Side. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's take a look and see what prize Lauren has won. And, hey, she got the Jacko Meduso. That is what we we're looking for, so you've earned one point for the blue click side of the house. Congratulations, Lauren. Next up is Life Simmer. Eat that candy, girl. Sadly, inside was only candy, so Life Simmer, I'm so sorry you did not earn a prize for your side of the house, and you're gonna have to sit back down. So far, the blue click is winning. Next up is Sky Williams. He looks happy. So let's see what Sky Williams earned in his holiday cracker. And hey, you got a regular Meduso plushie. That is one of the toys that we're looking for. So congratulations, the blue click now has two points. Next up for the red click side, we've got Dodger. Woohoo! Oh, and there's just candy inside, it seems. Yep, and there was no prize inside of the holiday cracker that Dodger picked. So I'm so sorry, Dodger. That is still another lost point for the red click side. I'm beginning to think the red click side of the house might be cursed. All right, Sky does Minecraft with the blue click side. He's looking excited. This might be good. And the toy that was inside Sky does Minecraft's holiday cracker was a Luck of the Medusa, which is one of those toys and it's not a duplicate, so Congratulations, Blue Click Side. You've earned three points in this challenge so far. 
Next up is Nick Dominates for the red click side. And he looks excited. Let's hope it's a point for the red click. And Nick's toy manages to be... Hey, a Meduso Gobbler, congratulations, red click side. You finally got your first point on the board. Let's place that on the table. Next up is Dan the Diamond Minecart for the blue click side. Can he get another plushie? Oh, he looks sad. And Dan's toy ended up being... Oh, an electronic upgrade part. Lame. I'm sorry, Dan. That is not a point for the blue click side. And the red click side now gets a chance to catch up. Here comes Zombie Unicorn for the red click side. Can she earn them another point? She seems happy. And Zombie Unicorn's toy was... Hey, a Medusa Lovin. That is not a duplicate, so congratulations, Zombie Unicorn. You now have earned two points for the red click side of the house. Now Casey Tron's up for the blue click. Can she get another plushie? She seems happy. Let's find out what the toy is that Casey Tron ended up finding. If it's one of the duplicates that's already on the table though, it won't count. Let's see. And she's earned the Bun Bun Do So, which is not a duplicate. So they are now at four points. And lastly is Keemstar for the red click side in this first round. And he looks happy. And Keemstar's toy from the Holiday Cracker was... Oh, a Medusa Lovin, which they already own. Sadly, because it's a duplicate, it does not count for a point. I'm so sorry, Keemstar. And the last person for the blue click side is Rice Gum. And that's an excited face. And Rice Gum manages to acquire... Ooh, the Medusa Gobbler. The red click side already got this, but it, it's not a duplicate on the blue click side. So that does mean that that does count for a point. Congratulations, Rice Gum. The blue click side now has five points, while the red click side only has two, as we go into round number two. It's now the beginning of round number two. Kaleido, can you grab a plushie this round? She looks excited. And Kaleido's plushie is... Ooh, the Sex Aduso sweater. Wait, what is that name? What? Sex Aduso sweater. Um, do I want to know? I don't want to know, but that is not a duplicate. So congratulations, Kaleido. The red click now has another point. Now, Lauren was able to get a plushie last time. Can she get another one? Ooh, and she got candy. I'm sorry, that is not a plushie. The blue click does not earn another point. All right, Life Simmer, this is your last turn. Can she get a plushie? Oh, and she looks disappointed. And Life Simmer manages to acquire, oh, an electric upgrade part. I'm so sorry, Life Simmer. That is another lost point for the red click side, and you guys are still only at three. Sky Williams is up. Your last turn. Oh, and it's just candy. That's another lost point for the blue click side, and the red click side's getting more chances to catch up. Now it's Dodger's last turn. Can't she get a plushie? Oh, I don't like that look on her face. And Dodger's gift is... Ooh, what is that? What, what even is that? It's not telling me. I think it's just bro broken, burnt pieces of wood? I'm not sure, but that is definitely not a gift that you want for the holidays. I'm so sorry, Dodger. That is another lost point for the red click side. Here comes Sky Does Minecraft. Ooh, and he looks frustrated. That's not a good sign. And the gift that Sky Does Minecraft received is absolutely nothing. That stinks for you, Sky Does Minecraft. The blue click side loses another point. Well, an opportunity for a point, and they're still at five points. Nick Dominates is up for the red click side. And he's also looking disappointed. This is not good. And Nick Dominates' gift is... Ooh, some more of that, like, burnt wood chip thing. Ah, oh, that stinks for you guys. So far, the red click side only has three. The blue click side has five. If the blue click side gets one more point, no matter what, the blue click side will win this challenge. 
So the Red Click side's going to have to hope that they can tie it up with Zombie Unicorn and Keemstar. Let's see, can Dan the Diamond Minecart give the Blue Click the win? Ooh, that does not look like a happy face. And Dan's present is... Oh, an electronic upgrade part. Nope, that is not what you need. Sorry, Dan, you have passed up this opportunity to get the blue click another point. Zombie Unicorn has to get a plushie from this in order to stay in this. She looks excited. Let's see if it's a duplicate or not. And the plushie that Zombie Unicorn has received is... Oh, the sex -a -do so sweater plushie. That is a duplicate, which means that point does not count. And that does mean congratulations to the blue click side yet again dominating this game. And they are the HOH, but this challenge is not over. We still need to determine which one of the blue click members is going to be the next HOH. Now in the first round, Casey Tron and Rice Gum both received plushies. If they get a plushie in the second round, they will be in the lead in their click and they will win HOH. So let's find out. All right, Casey Tron, let's see if you can find a non-duplicate plushie. Nope, and she only gets a piece of candy. I'm so sorry, that's not a point, Casey Tron, but you're still in the running if Rice Gum does not get a plushie. If Rice Gum gets a non-duplicate plushie here, he will be the next HOH. That's an excited face. Let's see if it's a duplicate or not. And the plushie that Rice Gum has received is... The Sex Do So Sweater, which is not a duplicate on the blue click side. That means that in total, Rice Gum was able to earn two points for the blue click side, putting him in the lead. Congratulations, Rice Gum. You are the brand new HOH for this week and the villains are still in power. All right, I'm gonna clean up this challenge room and I'm gonna let them go about their business and we're gonna see how the house now reacts to Rice Gum being the new HOH. So I'm an idiot and completely forgot to hit the record button. So almost an entire day has gone by and you guys have not gotten any of my commentary. This is just great. So let me give you a recap on some things that have happened in the house since you've begun. Dan and Skelly Bear like besties, obviously. Skelly Bear likes her men in tank tops and gym shorts, and that's exactly what Dan was giving her. You guys miss Dodger being a little weirdo out here. She was just standing on this like broken plate or this dirty plate staring at this. And then Sky Williams came in and we totally had a Sky Williams with boobs moment, and I'm so sad that you guys don't get to see it. Like, Sky Williams went inside of Dodger's body, and it was beautiful, but also, like, really scary. We learned that Sky does Minecraft, and Dan are becoming better and better friends in this house. And Nick has been kind of a loner. He has not been uh, talking with a lot of people. He's been kind of doing his own thing. That's pretty much all you missed. Maybe some like odds and ends and weird things that have happened, but other than that, nothing too much. God, I feel like an idiot for not hitting the record button. Oh, wait a minute, is Nick Dominates about to play with Keemstar? As I just got through saying that he was being a loner, is he about to... <gasps> okay, so for those that don't know, chess is a great way to build relationships with people in this game. It makes your friendship grow, I think at like double the rate. Um, It's not too broken because people don't spend too much time playing a chess game, but this is a great way to develop a relationship. Oh, see, and he's already left. He's already done. Ooh, get you a drink, Dodger. Oh, she's hung over. <laughs> Maybe you've been drinking too much, girl. Oh, oh my God, Kaleido. What are you doing? She's been like a crazy person with this fitness stuff. Oh my God. And she smells really bad. She needs a shower. So all of the people, that's another thing you missed. All of the people that are have nots have been struggling because they cannot shower properly. Like look at her. That's zombie right now. She needs to like wash herself. I don't know. A part of me is thinking I might need to allow them to shower. Okay. So I can't remember if this is like The Sims 3 where they can die if they're too dirty. So I've decided to unlock the showers because The Sims are not smart enough to wash themselves. And there was a lot of really scary music they just got through playing. And honestly, 
I was like terrified that someone might die. At least that's getting fixed. So y'all got lucky, you have nots. I've opened up the showers for everyone. I'm too lazy to Google whether or not someone can die because of that. And look, all the have nots are like hitting that up. They are all about that shower life now. They still can't use the kitchen though. That is definitely off limits. They are stuck to using coolers and microwaves. Oh wow, so I'm an idiot and I just now realize you guys have missed a lot of stuff. Oh my god. Okay, so another thing that you guys have missed because I stupidly didn't hit, hit the record button is I kind of went through and I analyzed um, basically what each of the contestants that's on the red click side might, you know, who, who might be up for a nomination, who might not be, we're not sure yet because Rice Gum is the new HOH. So Nick Dominates, I said, has been doing a really bad job of making connections with people. He needs to step it up. Oh my God, I am living for this. I forgot I made this his outfit. <gasps> Queen of the crop top. Yes, mama. Find you a sugar daddy with that outfit. That's not the only time she's ever opened her legs like that. You guys have also missed me announcing who the super safety winner was. So after uh, looking at the poll, the winner was Life Simmer with 25% of the vote, but because last place was Zombie Unicorn, she actually stole it away from Life Simmer and Zombie Unicorn has the super safety for this week. So Zombie Unicorn doesn't even have to worry about getting voted out at all. As for Life Simmer, she might need to worry a little bit because Rice Gum has tried to vote her out the last two times and has failed. So whether or not he'll try to take another stab at her, we'll see. Kaleido's been making good connections with some of the villains, but I don't know if it's strong enough just yet. And Dodger's been making uh, friends with more of the heroes than the villains, so she might have to worry as well. Overall, the villains are still controlling this game, they're still controlling the house, and they hold all the power. Meanwhile, Rice Gum's got a lot to think about when it comes to his nominations for this week. Recently, he's been voting for himself and not so much for the team, and I'm wondering if he's gonna do the same thing with his nominations. Will he nominate people that he specifically doesn't like, or will he nominate people who the house will want out? I don't know. Also, everyone's sleep schedules are completely ruined. Like, look at this. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Nick found himself a sugar daddy in the form of Keemstar. Nick, you can do better. You can do better. So I'm letting you guys know that I'm moving the art work that you guys send in to every Friday episode as opposed to every single episode. So that way you guys have more time to submit your artworks. So if you want to submit your artworks, make sure to do that at hashtag YTBB and she's about to walk in on rice gum, is she not? Oh. Ooh, she stopped herself. Smart life simmer. Oh wait, she can't go in there. That's right, you're on the red click side. So I don't know how much footage, guys, I have left for this recording because I never hit the record button to begin with. So this may or may not be a shorter episode. I'm not 100% sure, but we are gonna get into the nomination ceremony now. Welcome everyone to the nomination ceremony. As HOH Rice Gum, it's your job to nominate two people for eviction. So, Rice Gum, who is the first person you are nominating. <laughs> oh, and Life Simmer is the first nominee. All right, Rice Gum, who is the second person you're nominating for eviction? And Nick Dominates is the second nominee. So Rice Gum has nominated you, Life Simmer, and you, Nick Dominates. He sees you two as a threat in this game and needs to cut the head off the snake before the snake can even grow. So you two are the two nominees. We're going to find out which one of you or if one of you can win the power of veto on Friday's episode. I will see you guys then, and make sure to leave a like down below, comment down below who you're supporting in this game. So until the Friday episode, bye-bye.